Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and today we are going to be working on one of the creepiest clowns in movies. You might not be too familiar with him if you haven't seen this found footage. I'm going to call it a classic. I love it. I watch it all the time. We're going to be making the super creepy clown from Hell House. Okay, so I'm gonna use some just some basics acrylic here. This is just a titanium white and the unbleached white. I ended up actually not using this at all, opting to go just for the titanium white and giving it one, I think two coats it ended up being, but I left it a little bit mottled because, you know, the mask itself is dirty and grimy. So if a little bit of that gray shows through here, that's fine with me. Again, it's just making it look worn and used. And you can see there are some layer lines still. I didn't go crazy with the sanding because this is an old latex mask. So that's what it is. That's what I'm going with. And no one is going to notice. And it's still going to be super creepy. So we just go ahead and give it one coat of white. And it's so crazy, super shiny bright. It definitely needs some work. But first we're going to go ahead and work on the black areas after we finish the mouth. So we paint the inside of the mouth. A little bit of red's getting here or there. I'm going to touch that up after I look at some of these references to see where the blood is, where the mouth is. We're going to use some Mars black and just paint this in. I probably should have drew it in first, but I went ahead and painted it in. It's not perfect, but again, this is an old latex mask and I did have to give this two coats so it would fill in because you're going over that sort of that just bright, bright white. And you might be asking yourself, Kevin, why are you using quite possibly the largest brush you own to paint this mouth in? And I don't know. As I was doing it, I kept saying that to myself. I could have changed it at any point, and I didn't. I just kept using it, figuring I'll just cut the edges in. But no, I didn't. I used it, and uh, it was a pain. I should have used a smaller brush. <laughs> but of course, that needed two coats. And there it is. Oh my God, it looks so creepy. So I'm going to use these pastels uh, and a makeup brush. This stuff really puts things on really light and gently. And we're just going to smudge this all up. Because, you know, if you look at the references and you see the movie, you can see that this is dirty, grimy. It's a mask that spent time in basements or in storage areas. It's just super sort of gross and uh, caked with dirt. And it doesn't really look that creepy when it's all brand shiny new. So I just go over the whole thing and just coat it up. Then it looks too uniform, right? So we need to smudge that up a little bit. So I'm just sort of spitting on this paper towel and dabbing it here and there to give this sort of non-uniform look to make it look like maybe some water got on it uh, to you can see here it really makes it look real it doesn't look like it's brushed on it looks like you know grime and soot that's been built up over time now it's time for the red so again this is just some basics with a bunch of water and i really filled this brush up you can just see how saturated it is and i'm sort of dabbing it in waiting for it to pool picking up some more, and then just sort of banging it on the countertop a little bit, the workstation, and shaking it so that drip runs down. Because if you look at the references off to the right, you can see that these aren't painted on. These are sort of like tears uh, or blood that was coming out of the eyes that ran down this crazy demonic clown's face. And that's what I was doing. I just sort of putting a little bit on there, tapping it, and then once it started running too much, sort of putting it on its side so it wouldn't go much farther. I had to fill in some areas here and there, but I wanted to keep it so it definitely looked like a run. I'd hit it with a hair dryer uh, every once in a while at some point. I, I think I cut that out. But, you know, it's just adding water, letting things run, taking your time with it. Don't rush this part. Uh, <laughs> I'm shaking the thing to get it to drip down. I mean, it's not going to be exactly like the reference, but this is mine, right? So I've got some black felt paper or some black felt for the eyes. Uh, I like it just having just black eyes. And I just glued that in with some super glue. And now it's just these black, opaque, sort of dark, dark eyes. Now we're going to be putting this on that PVC piping. So I went ahead and filled it with some of this, uh, you know, expanding foam. Haven't used that this much, and I think I'd use too much. I think that is too much. 
Then I went ahead and worked on the body. Now I did this with a with PVC piping. I sort of tacked the uh, the costume, which is got at Amazon. Everything is below where I got things, and I'm cutting the pipe to make this body. You know, the problem is uh, the proportions are off when I try to use PVC. I just I'm not a good builder of these displays. Uh, I need to either get better with it or just buy um, mannequins. So here's what I came up with. And it kind of looked okay. The torso, I think, was a little too high. But this is a big clown. But the problem was once I put the suit on it, you can see the shoulders. It just looks like a cube. So I went ahead with a heat gun and I took everything off, and I melted things down, and now the shoulders have a nice slope to them, and so do the arms. So as you can see in my struggles making that PVC person, from now on I think I'm just gonna buy mannequins. They're a little bit more pricey, but at least the proportions are kind of correct, and you don't have to fiddle with it forever. Yes, they cost shipped about $100, $110, but you know, you spend $30 in PVC and another 15 in joints uh, and then you wrestle with it for an hour and the proportions still don't look right more than an hour uh, I think I'm just gonna go that from now on and I do have a you know probably like four sticks of PVC left so I am gonna try to use it just one more time but I'm gonna try doing it the more melty way like I did with the end with the heat gun that thing was key for my scream stand up my scream display um, so I will do it one more time from then on I'm gonna go with mannequins. So here's something funny. If you wanna see the Hell House LLC hotel, you can actually go see it, it's in Pennsylvania. Just look it up. I'll actually, I'll put the link below with the links to all the stuff I used. Uh, and I'm actually gonna be going there uh, in about three weeks. Just myself on a Saturday drive down. Uh, you know, it's like four hours, four and a half hours, but why not? I'm gonna give it a try just to see what it looks like and take some pictures. I'm kind of excited about it. Although if you don't hear from me, now you know why. I, I visited Hell House. Don't don't visit Hell House. That's the key about Hell House. <laughs> all right, guys. If you like the Hell House, let me know. Uh, remember, go to Tubi. You can watch them all. They are fantastic. I love them. Guys, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.